For the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Lori Farfaglia. The Tiberi's High School Astronomy Club recently sent an experiment to the edge of space to study the effects of cosmic radiation, low pressure, and extreme temperatures on four species of pine. The experiment was launched by the Space Weather Balloon on December 9th from Bishop, California. Eustis Heights teacher Anthony Ritter received the 2018 Take Stock in Children Alumni of the Year Award for his commitment to the program and for his achievements as an educator. It has been a year since Eustis City Commissioners rejected a request to allow chickens in residential areas, but this week the Commissioners are being asked to reconsider. Chicken supporters will be given 10 minutes to make their case. We'll let you know if a backyard near you could soon be getting some hens. Over the weekend, Leesburg's Tim Frederick won big when the professional angler kicked off his third season on the Fishing League Worldwide Tour by earning his first victory on the tour in Lake Okeechobee. The win was worth about $100,000. A change in the way Lake County counts its students has the potential to save millions while still fulfilling District Superintendent Diane Cornegay's goal to add art, music, and PE teachers to every elementary school. The plan could cut about $5.2 million in teacher salaries. For more local news, check out dailycommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News in 90 on LSTV. I'm Lori Farfaglia.